I hate that so much of this vlog takes place when I'm in the car. It's a really unflattering angle. I need to pirate some internet. I came to work today because the internet at home sucks. And I need to get yesterday's video out. I left the drive at home. It's gonna be a long day. Okay. It's April 1st. The first official day of my one month of daily vlogging. I've been wanting to try this for a long time. Casey Neistat is my hero on so many levels and I'm gonna stop gushing about him but just something I love about his videos is how he makes everything seem so epic. I feel something just watching him do normal stuff. And that's so crazy. That's such a weird thing to think about, right? Like, he was one of the main inspirations I had when I started filmmaking two years ago. This journey has taken me from a guy working a job at Petco and a job at the mall, all the way to being a full-time creative in less than two years. But there's so much left to learn, and I just keep thinking that, you know what? I think that a daily vlog would be the fastest way to move ahead and like kind of push through a lot of the kind of barriers and plateaus I've been feeling as a filmmaker recently. So I'm just gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna make some rules for myself though. I think that I need to give myself at least four bye days, four mulligans. Sometimes you just can't get enough material to make something not suck. Before Casey started his vlog, he had years and years of TV and film experience. And this video is my 500th YouTube video. He knew how to make something good. I'm not sure I do. I'm mostly just full of- It's also important to me that the videos be between 6 to 10 minutes long. And this may not be for the reason that you think. It's because I think format is important. Like, just like in music. Filmmaking is a lot about tension and release, about using the time that you have to take the viewer on a journey, right? So I have no idea how to do that, really. <laughs> so that's one of the big reasons why it's important that they have a certain length of time. It's pretty short, it's a short. Other than that though, I'm not gonna limit myself very much. Here in Tulsa, I've been trying to build a name for myself by delivering very high quality content with lots of production value, but it's usually short form and commercial in nature. What I want to use this to do is to explore something that I don't get to do very much. Narrative and emotion. Someday, like everybody else who gets into this, I, I would love to be directing TV and film, but I can't do that if all I'm worried about doing is getting those animations and after effects right. So I'm really gonna try and avoid that here on this channel. I just want the content to be fun to watch. YouTube has been amazing to me. My favorite YouTubers have inspired me, have educated me, because I have no formal filmmaking training at all. And they've kept me going and kept me laughing at times when I felt really lonely. I want to be a part of that community for somebody else. Right? I'll, I have this problem when I go to concerts, and it's that I, I love music so much, but I always get super, super jealous really fast if I'm not on stage. It's not about the artist, it's just about the fact that I just, I want to be a person doing things, right? Like, 
I feel like I can only consume so much before I start to feel antsy and gross. I feel like I should be putting things into the world, putting really good things into the world and not just taking from others. And I'm probably going to fumble through it quite a lot. It's really hard to just like talk to a camera and not just start talking about yourself and how you feel. But I'm gonna let it start that way and then try and steer the ship slowly into a more interesting direction. Let me introduce you to my car. You'll find it featured prominently in this vlog because I'm in it a lot. We have two cars, if you haven't noticed. One of them is my wife's. That's the new hotness, the Sintra. It's sexy. It's still getting paid off. It's nice. The other is my Camry. I'm very proud of this car. I've had it for a long time. It keeps me humble. It's kept me safe. Y'all hear that sound? That's the sound of 287,295 miles. I'm hoping that I have this vehicle for a long time because it's beginning to develop something of a legacy. I did a shoot for a car dealership a little while back and the producers actually asked which was that car. <laughs> Who whose it did it belong to and if they would move it, not realizing that it was one of the it was mine. I've even used it in a shoot as a junker on purpose, in which I spilled a bunch of junk out of the back seat that was just there. I didn't, there was no staging involved. I love my car. There we go. I spent the entirety of my 20s letting my feelings and my circumstances dictate how I live my life. But I don't wanna be that person anymore. I wanna be the kind of person who makes a decision about what has value and who goes and does something about that. You've probably got some things in your life that you've wanted to do for a long time as well. And you've probably got some incredibly good excuses for not doing those things. Probably way better excuses than me. But there comes a point in your life where nobody's gonna tell you what to do. And you're not gonna feel like doing anything. I know that this makes me feel really uncomfortable talking to a camera like this. This is, this is not necessarily my wheelhouse, but I think it has value and I think it's worth spending the time to do. So, there's always going to be an excuse not to do something. But what kind of person are you? I'm apparently the kind of person who sits alone in a parking lot talking to himself. <laughs>